Dr. Evan Anton is from the Coneo Valley Veterinary Hospital in Thousand Oaks, California. He has traveled to six different continents, volunteering to help exotic animals. And did we mention he was recently named People Magazine's sexiest veterinarian? Evan, good morning. You pet the animals. I'm just going to pet you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got some starting with this is kind of a stinky. Yeah, this guy, he's, uh, he's got a nice little pungent odor name? to him. His name is, uh, well, this is, this is a Tamandua. Right. Okay, so this is a lesser anteater. And so these guys are native to Central and South America, and um, they're really, really busy arboreal guys. He's actually he's got this uh, prehensile tail, yeah. and so that basically means he can use it as almost a fifth appendage and kind of hang from the trees wow. with it. You can see how it's kind of wrapped around my finger. He's got some serious claws. Too. Serious yeah. claws, yeah. That's really their only, their main defense. Wow. You know, they don't have much of a bite. They don't have uh, much else to work with. Doesn't he have a really these... long, I mean, he eats a lot of ants, right? Does he yeah. have a very long tongue for Their an tongue ant? is like a foot and a half long almost. Jeez. And these guys can eat like 10,000 ants a day, which is pretty, wow. pretty nutty. By the way, so, that, that smell, that's yeah. a good enough defense right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that thing reeks. <laughs> so Are you talking just, about me or that? No, no, yeah. the, the ant eater. <laughs> so he'll just poke a little hole Aww. in this orange. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the tongue just going oh, yeah. nuts, just in and out, in and out real fast. And he's got this long, skinny little rope tongue. So anteaters in this country would be bigger than you're saying these are smaller versions. Yeah, well, there's other anteaters even in South America, yeah. and they're, they're much, much bigger, and they got longer fur and can everything. Can I pet him? Yeah, he's, he's pretty mellow. This one you guys can actually... <laughs> 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 but why oh, would man. I think it got all the way over to that? Because <laughs> he has a tongue that's a foot and a half long. That's why. Ba -bum -bum. Uh, all right, what is next? By the way, the smell of the orange does help to it overpower does, the absolutely. smell of Citrus. the actual animal. Oh, no, not a bird. Okay. You don't like birds? I, they scare me a little bit, birds. <laughs> hey, baby. This Doc, is a this kookaburra, right? That's right, oh, kookaburra. Yeah. Hi, you. The largest kingfisher. So now we're going back to the old world. These guys are Australian. And yeah. this is this this bird makes that sound that's kind of stereotypical yeah. in jungle movies. Exactly, and things, right? exactly. You want to get her going? Yeah. Go. Can you roll your, roll your R's? No. I can't. No? no? You can't even. What do you say, sweetie? You uh -huh. done? You're making me look like an idiot. Do something here, please. I live like that every day. <laughs> well, she might not be Come having on, it. Come on, buddy. Well, me, you know what it could be? She's got her eye on an alligator. She's <laughs> getting out of the cage behind her That there. guy. He looks like the crocodile. But she does not, from. I mean, you talk about jungle, book, but she's, she doesn't exist in the jungle, right? She's not a jungle animal. Well, no, I mean, these guys are in the tropical belt. Oh, I mean, like are. I said, they're in, like, Australia, northern Australia. Okay. All right. Yeah. Before this guy has to hold this alligator any longer, okay. let me get this off the yeah, table. Why? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> All right. These up. are the dinosaurs of the modern yeah, age. You said exactly. Dinosaur, yeah. That's what I say too, man. That's exactly right. These guys have remained unchanged evolutionarily for hundreds of millions of years. Just to show, you know, it just tells you how successful they are in their in their native environment. So this is an American alligator. These guys are native to our country. They're native to the southeast United States. And this guy um, is six years old? Six years old, and he's a pretty beefy dude, and he's been in captivity his whole life. He's real mellow, real easy going. And how big will he get? A male alligators can be big crocodilians, and they can get, you know, 16, 17 wow. feet long, it hundreds feels like of a pounds. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that to you. Enjoy, no, your social, <laughs> enjoy your social media today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they I'm kidding. Guys, he's actually, things. but he's they beautiful. Really oh, he's, he's gorgeous. Really, really I mean, they're beautiful. Just, they really are modern day dinosaurs. They have a ton of bite force. And uh, you can just see what a great ambush predator yeah. they are. If you imagine if he's in the water and you draw a line from his snout wow. across his head, the only thing above water is the, the, the snout for breathing and then the eyes for seeing. Right. So he so can he really can, sneak yeah. up on stuff. Careful behind you. Okay. Got something else that's on the ground. What is that? That, that, that looks is like a, a New York City rat, actually. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it is a rodent, this though, right? This is one of the coolest animals in the animal kingdom. This is a capybara. I should come around this side. And so this is is crap, by the way. <laughs> Sweetie. Are they friendly? <laughs> they can be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, he's he's just shy. I mean, he's not going to do anything. He's not going to hurt you, but he's just being shy right now. Hi. Hi. And what's the story so, with him? These are the largest rodents in the world, <clears throat> and these guys are native to South America, Central, really South America. And um, there's these huge, and they're semi-aquatic. They spend a lot of time in the water. They pretty much only want to go to the bathroom in the water. Um, and they're herbivores, just like a lot of the, you know, the, 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 the rodents that they're related to, like guinea pigs and other animals like that. 
and so corn and things like that he loves, but they eat a ton of grass and, and other uh, greens and, and things like that. And I know some people keep these animals for pets, but yeah. that is not a good no. thing. Well, I mean, yeah, in general, in captivity, they need a huge water body, right. and they need somewhere to go to the bathroom every day. They need a lot of space. They have a big diet, big appetite. I mean, these guys are just eating 24-7. Right, it's like let, a huge guinea pig. We're going to let right, him thank chat you, out Evan, the Thank you, Thank you so, so much, much for bringing these animals. Appreciate it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.